that extra questions those extra questions okay so these questions are visible to you see Okay, till students are entering, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so question number, uh, see this question, note down in your copy, second question, note down in your copy, first I think you will be able to do, okay, answer is also given in front of you, let's see second question. The image shows two objects of mass M1 and M2 separated by distance R. If M1 is 10 kg, M2 is 100 kg and R is 10 meter. What is the amount of gravitational force F between them? Value of capital G is this. Okay, gravitational constant value has been given here. Okay, all right. So hurry up. Do it in your copy and uh, let's find out the answer. Let's do here. Let me note down the data first. The mass, mass of one object is 100 kg. Mass of other object is 10 kg. And distance between them is 10 meters. Okay. And G also is given uh, though we know its value already. 10 kg, 100 kg, no problem. M1 is 100 and M2 is 10 uh, doesn't make any difference. Okay, so let's find the answer, right? This is 10 and this is 100. Okay, so F is equal to G M1 M2 upon R square. F is equal to G M1 M2 upon R square. Put the value of G 6.673 into 10 raised to the power minus 11. This is 10. This is 100 and this is 10 square, which is also 100. So 100, 100 get cancelled. And how much you, do you get? 10 raised to power minus 11 into 10 raised to power 1. So that is 10 raised to power minus 10. This is going to be our answer. Let's check which option is this. Let us check which option is this. This is second option. So B part is correct. Any doubt to any student? Yes, any doubt? Yes, answer is B here. Okay. Next question. An object has a mass of 163 kilogram. When the object is kept on a weighing scale, it exerts a force of 1.597 into 10 raised to power 3 Newton. What is the value of acceleration due to gravity? Okay, so let's note down the data first. What is given to us? Let's note down the data. Mass is 163 kg. Force is 1.597 into 10 raised to power 3 Newton. Okay, what we are to find G. Okay, who will tell me which formula we will use? Who will tell me which formula we will use to calculate small g here? When force is given, mass is given to you. Yes, which formula, who will tell? Yes. F is equal to MA. F is equal to MA and here A is G. In case of vertical motion, acceleration due to gravity is G. So this is F is equal to MG, weight only. So this force that the body is exerting on the earth, that is weight only. Okay, so we will equate W is equal to mg or F is equal to mg here. So use F is equal to mg because F is the weight here. Weight is given 
mass is also given find g from here so g would be 1.597 into 10 raised to power 3 upon 163 so solve this and see what is the answer it will be in meter per second square because this is acceleration okay all of you solve this now and tell me what your answer is going to be yes yes what is your answer i'm 9.7 9.7 आगे क्या आ रहा है नेक्स्ट डिजिट क्या है वट इज द नेक्स्ट डिजिट वन नाइन पॉइंट सेवन नाइन नाइन तो उसको हम फिर रफली 9.8 ले लेते हैं सो यस द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सलेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी इज 9.8 मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर बिकॉज दे हैव गिवन अर्थ हेयर तो अर्थ की ही जी आनी थी सो ऑलरेडी वी न्यू द आंसर दैट मीन्स राइट so the thing is how we get that answer okay let's see next if mass of a planet is 6 into 10 raised to the 26 kg and radius is 6.4 into 10 to the 3 km what is the estimated acceleration due to gravity on the surface of planet yes who will tell me the formula now mass of planet is given radius of planet is given we don't know which planet it is we are to find acceleration due to gravity here yes raise hands ha ji bolo yes bolo m small g is equal to capital g into m upon r square yes right formula this is gm upon r square so small g is equal to capital gm over capital r square and here mass of planet means capital m is given and radius of planet means capital r has been given here okay so let's put in the values and solve that and if you see clearly closely this is uh, i think this is earth only 6.4 into 10 to the power 3 km 6 into 10 raised to the power 24 kg it is otherwise so it's close to that only we are going to get that value only this is earth only i think they have given uh, wrong value of mass it should be 6 into 10 raised to the power 24 kg mass of earth okay let's uh, go with whatever value is given to you okay solve this use this formula small g is equal to gm upon r square mass radius 6.4 into 10 raised to the power 3 km so in meter it will be 10 raised to the power 6 so chaliye isko solve kariye tell me what is g because all the values are closely related we have to just see the number of zeros only that is the question ki 9.8 aata hai ki 9.8 into 10 raised to the power 2 aata hai and you can see two two options are same here no problem let's see what is our answer okay you find that solve this and tell me what is the answer yes hurry up all of you solve this anyone with the answer anybody with the answer kisi ne solve kiya hai Yes if anyone has solved Yes No answers 
देखो व्हेन वी टेक सिक्स इन टू टेन एस पर ट्वेंटी फोर द आंसर इज नाइन पॉइंट एट देर आर टू जीरो एक्स्ट्रा इन टेन एस पर ट्वेंटी सिक्स सो आर आंसर इज नाइन पॉइंट एट इन टू टेन एस पर टू ठीक है सो सी ऑप्शन और डी ऑप्शन दैट इज आंसर ठीक है सो आर आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी और ऑप्शन डी तो यहाँ पे इन्होंने सी दिया हुआ इन फोर्थ यस वाई नॉट डी बिकॉज यूनिट इज रॉन्ग मीटर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर इज गिवेन and in b also they have given wrong unit okay now see this which point on surface of earth experiences greater acceleration due to gravity you have to tell there are certain points given p q r and s you have to tell at which point earth surface experiences greater g acceleration due to gravity yes who will tell wahi options wahi hai p q r s inme se koi answer hai aapka kaun batayega yes At which point acceleration due to gravity will be maximum out of these four points P, Q, R, and S? Yes, Karanveer. Which point? Ma'am, Q. No, not Q. Why? Why do you think Q is the answer? Because it is on the surface. It is, all the points are on surface. All these points are given on the surface of Earth. Yes, Divya. Ma'am, R. R. What is the reason? Ma'am, because the length of uh, equator is more than the length of poles. And the G is G M by R square. If the length of equator is more, R is more. G will be very small. We know that acceleration due to the gravity at poles is more than that at equator. So can't be the answer P. So then the answer B P. This is P now. Okay, P is a point on the poles, and we know that acceleration due due to gravity at the poles is much greater than that at the equator of Earth. All right. So the answer is P. E. Okay. Let us see the next one. The image shows distances of points P and Q from Earth center. Okay. If R Q is greater than R P, how would the acceleration due to gravity and weight of object compared at these two points? तो यहाँ पे कितने होंगे एक्सेलेशन टू टू ग्रेविटी और वेट्स मींस वेदर जीपी पोल भी दिया हुआ है ठीक है ये पी पॉइंट की बात कर रहे हैं वेदर जीपी विल बी ग्रेटर देन जीक्यू और वेट विल बी ग्रेटर देयर और नॉट चलिए सोचिए थिंक अबाउट इट एंड टेल मी द आंसर यस आर क्यू इज गिवेन ग्रेटर देन आर पी Yes, anybody? Anyone with the answer? You have done all these things, but you need to apply now. No answer? Again, I told you, small g is equal to g m by r square. We just wrote. So, if distance is more, g will be smaller at that point. So if R Q is more than R P, then G P G Q will be less than G P. ठीक है जहाँ पे distance कम है वहाँ पे acceleration due to gravity will be more. So G P is greater than G Q. That is given in two options. Now how how is weight related to G? So so does weight because W is equal to m G. If G is greater at a point, and weight will also be greater at that point. Weight will also be greater at that point. So A option would be correct. That G P is greater than G Q and W P is greater than W Q. Yes, option A is the answer. Anybody who didn't understand this question, if you didn't get the concept, please raise a hand and you can clarify your doubt. Yes, students, किसको ये point समझ में नहीं लगा? You can ask. Okay, so that means it's clear to everyone. Okay, 
before we do further questions uh, i'll share activity with you that you will perform at home yes very simple activity this is analyze buoyancy and forces acting on a body in fluid in order to judge if an object will sink or float so what material you require that is easily available at home two stones of different weights two transparent glasses thread bicycle spoke if you are not having bicycle spoke uh, spoke then you can take uh, you can say stick also wooden stick also okay up thrust bind pull bind see displacement okay so what is the procedure you will take two stones of different weights attach them with bicycle spoke with the help of thread now you will take two glasses filled with water first of all what you have to do you have to tie the stones with the help of threads and you have to balance it see carefully that uh, when there is a big stone and a small stone balance point will not be found at the center if you see clearly in this figure balance point ye bigger mass ki taraf hai yahan kahin jaake balance hoga theek hai so you will also get to know the concept of gravity right matlab balance center of gravity this is the center of gravity that means if we tie two stones of exactly equal mass then bilkul center mein wo balance hoga but in this case balance thodi side pe ho raha hai theek hai now you will take two glasses filled with water as you can see in the diagram balance the stones in the air then put them in glasses filled with water aise hi balance kiye ki aap unke niche glasses rakh dena unko immerse kar dena glasses mein now the question is you have to answer these questions are the stones still balanced in water which stone gets more push from below and what factors are responsible for it so ab aap dekhoge ki wo balance jo hai wo disturb ho gaya in the figure also it is clear the same stones that were balanced in the air they will not no not be balanced in the water so i have given you hint right so you will explore this activity raise hand who can do this activity tomorrow and uh, show to the whole class i will allow you to uh, share your screen and then that student will be able to share uh, his findings so kon interested hai ye activity kal hi karke dikhani hai aapne who will do that yes let us see how excited you are to do physics if you will do uh, such type of uh, small activities at home then only you will have some interest in the subject yes students i am waiting for your raised hand बहुत डिफिकल्ट लग रही है आपको ये मटेरियल नहीं मिलेंगे घर के बाहर से स्टोन नहीं मिलेंगे आपको दो ग्लासेस घर पे है ना वाटर भी है थ्रेड भी है देन वेर इज द प्रॉब्लम ये स्टूडेंट हरी अब इमीडिएटली गिव रिस्पॉन्स जिया ओके हु एल्स कैन डू ओके सो जिया विल डू दिस एक्टिविटी राइट सेकेंड एक्टिविटी लेट सी एंड a student will also come up now who can do this next activity understanding motion of constrained object this is also based on gravitation so what do you require a plastic bottle steel nuts two steel nuts koi bhi ghar pe pade ho koi bhi heavy aap nuts le sakte ho kuch bhi two rubber bands scissors bas ye chahiye so you take a plastic bottle and make a hole in the cap of bottle like this tie cycle nuts to one end of rubber band ab rubber band lijiye uske sath cycle nuts ko tie kar do un dono rubber bands ka jo dusra end hai usko bottle lid ke sath tie kar dijiye as it is shown hang both the nuts from the rim of plastic wheel usko aise adjust kar dijiye theek hai drop the half bottle from a height ab us bottle ko aap ek height se niche giraiye Ask a friend to catch it. ठीक है तो नीचे आके आप उसको कैच भी कर सकते हो वट हैोटल एक तो आप ये ऑब्जर्व करोगे वो कल बताओगे कि क्या हुआ एंड वट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड नट्स को क्या हुआ क्या वो वहीं पे रहे गिरने के बाद भी कैच करने के बाद भी 
or what happened to them you have to explore this now which student will do this activity raise hand very simple activity this is yes which student will do it you can take a screenshot of the activity yes take a screenshot of the activity and uh, take a screenshot of this activity also diya okay चलिए अब पहले ये बताओ कि ये सेकंड एक्टिविटी कौन करेगा हरी अब हु विल डू दिस सेकंड एक्टिविटी स्टूडेंट्स बेस्ड ऑन वर्क एनर्जी बेस्ड ऑन वर्क एनर्जी यस बोलो तितिक्षा मैम आई वाज आस्किंग दैट दीस टू एक्टिविटीज आर देयर इन अ प्रोजेक्ट फाइल एंड व्हेन वी हैव टू सबमिट द फाइल no no i'll be telling you about that later. i'll be telling you about that later these are extra things where that we are doing right okay ma'am so you won't be able to do this ma'am i'll be able to do this okay good good now this activity very simple let's see who can do this or i'll share these activities tomorrow first i'll guide you regarding the subject enrichment activities okay ye work energy ki kal share karte hain kal do bachchon ko dungi main aur uh, somya also where is somya raise hand somya where is she somya is listening she is present here somya raise your hand Okay, she is not here. I thought she is there. Yes, Somya, unmute. Somya, unmute yourself. Bache unmute nahi ho rahe aap. Chalo, kal dungi main aapko bhi activity. Right? Ab uh, uh, let me tell you about subject enrichment activity file. The subject enrichment activity was story writing. that was given to you during winter vacation and different topics were given roll number 13 2 26 26 25 were physics topics and then 43 onwards were physics topics if you remember and you have already i think sent that file in physics group also that same file you have to submit here agar physics ki ka homework kiya to physics ki file doge agar chemistry ka kiya to wo bio ka kiya to wo theek hai so concerned teachers will collect your file from there and second file i'm talking about is practical file so for term 2 you are uh, you have done two experiments those two experiments you will write in your practical file one is to find density of solid using measuring cylinder and spring balance and second activity is to verify archimedes principle physics ki ye do hain ek hi file hai science ki usme jo physics ka ye kaam wo kar lijiye do the chemistry work also in that bio work also in that we all physics chemistry bio teachers will check your file your uh, work is to submit the file at reception and it's not compulsory for you yourself to come you can send the file through anybody else also theek okay? hai whatever time is comfortable to you okay 3 uh, till 3 o'clock you can submit your file here right तो अब किसी को कुछ पूछना है सब्जेक्ट एनरिचमेंट से रिलेटेड कोई डाउट है तो आप पूछ सकते हो